Welcome to A Day in LA, a virtual tour of what can be done with only one day in Los Angeles. Are you ready to take off? Well, let's get going. Begin your day off, why don't you head toward Hollywood where you can see the Grauman's Chinese Theater, a great piece of architecture known throughout the world. While you're there, hit up the Kodak Theater where the Academy Awards are held every year, as well as maybe taking a show at El Capitan. While you're there, why don't you check out some of the actors and actresses like Shrek, as well as hit up the stars that fit along over a couple blocks where you can see Kermit the Frog, Marilyn Monroe, as well as Arnold Schwarzenegger, Walt Disney, a great director and a creator of our great parks, as well as Louis Armstrong, a fabulous trumpet player, and finally Bugs Bunny, a great cartoon that never gets old. Like I said, these are found throughout over two blocks. If you're starting to get a little hungry, why don't you hit up the Hard Rock Cafe, as well as some other delicious spots within the indoor and outdoor mall. And while you're there, take a look at some of the great architecture. So you can find some statues of elephants, as well as archways with an ancient feel with some carvings that resembles ancient Egypt, as well as other ancient civilizations. And if you're starting to get a little warm, jump through the fountain in the middle of the food court. And you can't go to Hollywood without seeing the Hollywood sign. At midday, you start to have some options. You can, for one, go to Universal Studios, a great place to hit some roller coasters themed after some great movies like Jurassic Park, as well as take in some shows like Waterworld, starring Kevin Costner. If roller coasters aren't your thing, head toward the Pacific Ocean, either at Huntington Beach or Mo Santa Monica Beach, where you can hit up the waves, maybe put your feet in for a dip, jump right in, or just relax on the sand. And hopefully by midday, the clouds have burned off so you can actually get a great tan. But be careful, on windy days, sometimes the waves can take control and it will take you out. But also you can just create a great sandcastle. If you are big into surfing, start heading out into the middle of the water where you can wait for a great wave that will hopefully take you all the way down to the beach. Maybe hopefully you'll stay up the entire time, but watch out, sometimes the waves are even too large and it will wipe you out. Maybe while you're there, you can go fishing and catch some great marine life, like in little baby tiger sharks, which yes, do swim this close to shore. If getting wet is interesting, head toward the Santa Monica Pier, where you can have some great food at Bubblegum Trip, as well as hit up some great old carnival rides. time, head toward Long Beach where you can tour the Great Queen Mary, which is now a hotel and dining area. You can take tours as well as get a great old-fashioned murder mystery meal. With the sun starting to set, head toward Huntington Beach where you can see a beautiful sunset as well as have a bonfire on the beach. With the sun down, your day is far from over. Head back to Hollywood, where you can take in a real musical like In the Heights, right on the Hollywood Boulevard. This has been your virtual tour. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you hit some of these sites when you're in LA next.